Okay, in this video, I want to share one problem and one problem solving strategy with you guys. And here's the problem first. Right here, imagine this as a bar of gold and this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is with seven ounce. Okay, and you see the marks right here. And it's a bar, so you have to cut it, right? Anyway, you are going to hire somebody to do some work for you for seven days maybe to do your website or whatsoever. And you have to follow the scenario. So, you know, for the sake of the question, you are going to pay the worker exactly one ounce of gold per day. You're not going to give him the whole thing the first day because otherwise he will run away, right? Just one ounce of gold per day. And here's the deal. You have this magical knife or saw. You can actually cut the bar of the gold. But the problem is that you can only make two cuts and after that the knife or the saw is going to be broken. So you can only make two cuts. You do know the measurement for the gold, but the question is that how can you cut it so that you can pay the worker exactly one ounce of gold per day? Well, I think right now is a good time for you guys to pause the video and try to think about this first. Okay, so hopefully you guys all have a chance to think about it, right? And that was the question. And here is the problem solving strategy. I call this buy experience. <laughs> so here's the story. In fact, one of my friends back in college, like, he asked me this question and I thought about it, I couldn't figure it out. And he told me the solution, okay, good. And then, you know, sometime later, a student asked me the same question because the student was trying to be cocky, you know? So it's like, okay. When he mentioned about a bar with seven ounces of gold, I said, okay, it's pretty much the same question. It's exactly the same question. So I was just like, okay, I pretend I didn't know. I didn't see this. I have never seen these questions before. So I pretend. And I pretend to think. Think. And after some time, oh, I got it. And then the student was amazed. So problem solving by experience. <laughs> anyway, here is the solution. Right here, once again, you can only make two cuts. And notice, we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is how we are going to make the cut. And this is how we are going to proceed. So we can pay the worker one ounce of the gold per day. We are going to make the cut right here. Of course, you have to give the worker the, uh, the first ounce of the gold on the first day, right? So you have to make sure you cut the one ounce, right? The bar with one ounce. Well. For the next day, when it comes, you don't want to just cut another one because one and one, okay, good, but the rest will be screwed. This is how we can kind of think about it. In fact, I will just make a cut right here. So I have one, two, and then four, like that. So I make two cuts, and then I have these three uh, goats, right? Three portions of goats. The first one is just one ounce, and you need that one ounce because you have to pay the worker the first ounce, the first day. And then, this right here, it's pretty much two ounces. So let me just draw the, uh, the gold right here. And then the last part right here is of course four. So I'll just put it down like this. This is four, and then we have this, okay? And this is how you're going to do it. Pay the worker this right here, the first day. And then the next day, you are going to give this to him and ask for this back and then two minus one is of course one and you have this right on the third day give him this on the fourth day give him this and ask for this two back <laughs> and then on the fifth day give him this and so on you can ask for it back that's pretty much the i don't know if you think this is not fair or not but this is how the story goes and i think uh, my friend was taking like a computer science course and uh, the professor was using this to illustrate the concept of the binary numbers. So for the first day, so I'll just say first day right here, you are going to give the person, the worker, one ounce. The second day is you add one to it, but you have to minus one because you have to carry over. And then the third day, you are going to do, well, just add one, so it's one, one. And then on the fourth day, what you're going to do is 
you're going to add one, but you have to, you know, get rid of this so you get one zero zero. <laughs> and then on the fifth day, you're just going to add one, so it's like one zero one. And then on the sixth day, once again, you add one and it becomes one one zero. So this means you are going to give the worker this bar, but you have to ask for this back. And then on the seventh day, finally, he will have everything, one, one, one. This one, yeah, this one is the, the unit which is corresponding to this piece, okay? And then this one, let me just do it in blue, okay? This one right here is this, right? Because this is two to the zero power, this is two to the first power, and then two to the second power is this right here, so I'll put this down in black right here. It's like that, right? So that's pretty much it, and I thought this was a really interesting question, and this is how the binary number works, right? And if you would like, you can also think about this as like a series, because you can also think about, okay, one is just one, one plus two is three, and then one plus two plus four, this is equal to seven. So, you know, it's also like a series, if you look at this as the power of twos, like that. And another question is that, if you want to extend this, if you want to make this harder, of course, what you can do is, you can just change the question a little bit, Instead of saying seven, you can put 31. You can say, this is a bar, this is like a, the, the gold, 32. This is a 31 ounce uh, piece of gold, and then you can make how many cuts? 31 is the same as one, 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 one. Why? Because this is saying one, this right here is saying two, this right here is saying four, and this right here is saying eight, or oh, I need one more, and I need a 16 right here. So it's one, 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 like that. It's hard to say lots of ones. So you're just going to make, uh, well, earlier I made two cuts, so I need to make one, two, three, four, four cuts. So you can hire a person for a month if you change the number to 31. Yeah. So anyway, problem solving by experience. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you that somebody asked you the question that you have heard in the past already? And how did you react to the person? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, and leave a comment down below so let me know uh, his reaction or her reaction if you pretended that uh, you, you solved the question around the spot. Anyway, hopefully you guys all like this quick little video. And as always, that's it.